ZZ Top. ZZ Top is an American rock band formed in 1969 in Houston, Texas by vocalist and guitarist Billy Gibbons. For 51 years, the band comprised Gibbons, drummer Frank Beard and bassist Dusty Hill, until Hill's death in 2021. Rooted in blues, ZZ Top developed a signature sound based on Gibbons' blues guitar style and Hill and Beard's rhythm section. Popular for its live performances, sly and humorous lyrics, and the similar appearances of Gibbons and Hill who were rarely seen without their long beards, sunglasses, and hats the group has staged several elaborate tours. ZZ Top formed after the demise of Moving Sidewalks, Gibbons' previous band. Within a year, the members signed with London Records and released ZZ Top's first album, 1971. Subsequent releases, such as Trace Hombres, 1973, and Fandango, 1975, and those albums' singles, LaGrange and Tush gained extensive radio airplay. By the mid-1970s the band became renowned in North America for its live act, highlighted by its performances during the Worldwide Texas Tour from 1976 to 1977, which was a critical and commercial success. After a hiatus, ZZ Top returned in 1979 with a new musical direction and image with a Gibbons and Hill wearing sunglasses and matching chest-length beards. With the albums De Guello, 1979, and El Loco, 1981, they experimented with instruments including clavinets, saxophones, and synthesizers. They established a more mainstream sound and gained international favor with Eliminator, 1983, and Afterburner, 1985, which integrated influences from new wave punk and dance rock. The popularity of these albums' music videos, including those for Give Me All Your Love and Sharp Dressed Man and Legs, helped propel them onto the television channel MTV and made the band one of the more prominent artists in 1980s pop culture. The Afterburner Tour set records for the highest attended and highest grossing concert tour of 1986. After gaining additional acclaim with the release of their 10th album Recycler 1990 and its accompanying tour, the group's experimentation continued with mixed success on the album's Antenna 1994, Rhythmine 1996, XXX 1999, and Mescalero 2003. They most recently released La Futura 2012 and Goin 50 2019, the latter of which is a compilation album commemorating the band's 50th anniversary. After Hill's death on July 27, 2021, Gibbons announced that per his wishes, ZZ Top would continue with Hill's longtime guitar tech Elwood Francis on bass. It is the band's first lineup change in 51 years. ZZ Top has released 15 studio albums and sold an estimated 50 million albums worldwide. The group has won three MTV Video Music Awards, and in 2004, the members were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rolling Stone ranked Gibbons number 32 on its list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. Throughout their career, the band and its individual members have supported several campaigns and charities, including Childline, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and a fundraiser for the Delta Blues Museum. Contents 1 History 1.1 Early Years 1969 to 1972 1.2 First Decade and Signature Sound 1973 to 1982 1.3 Eliminator, Afterburner, and Recycler, 1983-1991 Return to Guitar Driven Sound, 1992-2003 1.5 Critical Acclaim and Retrospective Releases, 2004-2011 1.6 La Futura and Subsequent Events, 2012-2018 1.7 Upcoming 16th Studio Album and Death of Dusty Hill, 2019-present Two Other Appearances 3 Style 4 Band Members 5 Discography 6 Filmography 7 Awards and Achievements 8 See Also 9 Notes 10 References 11 Bibliography 12 External Links History Edit Early Years 1969-1972 Edit the original lineup was formed in Houston and consisted of Gibbons bassist, organist Lanier Gregg, and drummer Dan Mitchell. The name of the band was Gibbons' idea. The band had a small apartment covered with concert posters and he noticed that many performers' names used initials. Gibbons particularly noticed B.B. King and ZZ Hill and thought of combining the two into ZZ King, but considered it too similar to the original name. He then figured that King is going at the top which brought him to ZZ Top. 
ZZ Top was managed by Bill Ham, a Waxahachie, Texas, native who had befriended Gibbons a year earlier. They released their first single, Salt Lick, in 1969, and the B-side contained the song, Miller's Farm. Both songs credited Gibbons as the composer. Immediately after the recording of Salt Lick, Greg was replaced by bassist Billy Etheridge, a bandmate of Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Mitchell was replaced by Frank Beard of American Blues. Due to lack of interest from the major American record companies, ZZ Top accepted a record deal from London Records, the American affiliate of the British Decca Records label. Unwilling to sign a recording contract, Etheridge quit the band and Dusty Hill, Frank Beard's American blues bandmate became his replacement. After Hill moved from Dallas to Houston, CZ Top signed with London in 1970. They performed their first concert together at the Knights of Columbus Hall in Beaumont, Texas, on February 10, 1970. In addition to assuming the role as the band's leader, Gibbons became the main lyricist and musical arranger. With the assistance of Hammond engineer Robin Hood Bryans, ZZ Top's first album, 1971, was released and exhibited the band's humor, with barrel house rhythms distorted, guitars double entendre, and innuendo. The music and songs reflected ZZ Top's blues influences. Following their debut album, the band released Rio Grande Mud, 1972, which produced their first charting single, Francine. Back quote. First Decade and Signature Sound, 1973-1982, edit. ZZ Top released Tres Hombres in 1973, which reached the No. 8 position on the Billboard 200 albums chart by early 1974. The album's sound was the result of the propulsive support provided by Hill and Beard, and Gibbons' growling guitar tone. Dan Early Wine wrote that the album brought ZZ Top their first top 10 record, making them stars in the process. The album included the boogie-driven LaGrange written about the chicken ranch and notorious brothel in LaGrange, Texas that also inspired the musical The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. On the subsequent tour, the band performed sold-out concerts in the U.S. ZZ Top recorded the live tracks for one side of their 1975 album Fandango during this tour. Fandango, which also contained one side of new studio songs, was a top 10 album, its single, Tush, peaked at number 20 on the Billboard Hot 100. Tejas, released in 1976, was the final ZZ Top album under their contract with London Records. It was not as successful or as positively received as their previous efforts but reached number 17 on the Billboard 200. ZZ Top continued the worldwide Texas tour in support of Tejas through most of 1977. In 1976, after almost seven years of touring in a string of successful albums, ZZ Top went on a hiatus for three years while Beard dealt with drug addiction. Gibbons traveled to Europe, Beard went to Jamaica, and Hill went to Mexico. Hill also spent the period working at Dallas Airport saying he wanted to feel normal and ground himself after years spent performing. In 1979, when the group returned with the album De Guello, Gibbons and Hill wore chest-length beards and sunglasses. Their hit singles from this period, Cheap Sunglasses and Pearl Necklace, showed a more modern sound. In 1979, CZ Top signed with Warner Brothers Records and released the album De Guello. While the album went platinum, it only reached number 24 on the Billboard chart. The album produced two popular singles, I Thank You, a cover of the David Porter, Isaac Hayes composition originally recorded by Sam and Dave, and the band original Cheap Sunglasses. The band remained a popular concert attraction and toured in support of Diguello. In April 1980, CZ Top made their first appearance in Europe performing for the German music television show Rock the Last. The band later played the BBC show The Old Grey Whistle Test where they shared a studio with English electronic band orchestral maneuvers in the dark OMD. Inspired by OMD, CZ Top introduced an energetic dancing style to their live show and began to experiment with synthesizers which featured prominently on the October 1981 album El Loco. The album peaked at number 17 on the Billboard chart and featured the singles Tube Snake Boogie Pearl Necklace and Layla. Eliminator, Afterburner, and Recycler, 1983-1991, edit. ZZ Top's next album was even more successful. Eliminator, released in March 1983, featured two top 40 singles Gimme All Your Lovin' and Legs, and two additional top rock hits Got Me Under Pressure and Sharp Dressed Man, with Legs peaking at number 13 on the club play singles chart.
Eliminator saw the band fully embrace synthesizers and elements of new wave music. Electronic band Depeche Mode have been cited as an influence on the album. It became a critical and commercial success, selling more than 10 million copies while peaking at no. 9 in the U.S. Billboard Pop Charts. Several music videos from the album were in regular rotation on MTV. The band also won their first MTV Video Music Awards in the categories of Best Group Video for Legs and Best Direction for Sharp Dressed Man. The music videos were included in their Greatest Hits video, which was later released on DVD and quickly went multi-platinum. The later lead singer of Survivor, Jimmy Jameson, provided backing vocals in the album after hanging with the band since the late 70s in different occasions. Gibbons referred to Jameson as the fourth member of the group for being a big fan, contributor and humble person. However, the Eliminator album was not without controversy. According to former stage manager David Blaney in his book Sharp Dressed Men, sound engineer Lyndon Hudson co-wrote much of the material on the album while serving as a live-in high-tech music teacher to Beard and Gibbons. Despite continued denials by the band, it settled a five-year legal battle with Hudson, paying him $600,000 after he proved he held the copyright to the song, Thug. Despite not selling as many copies as Eliminator, 1985's Afterburner became the band's highest charting album, no. 4 on the U.S. Billboard chart, racking up sales of 5 million units. All of the singles from Afterburner were top 40 hits, with two, Sleeping Bag and Stages, hitting number one on the mainstream rock chart. The music video for Velcro Fly was choreographed by pop singer Paul Abdul. ZZ Top's grueling Afterburner World Tour lasted well into 1987, which also had the release of the ZZ Top Six Pack, a three disc collection of ZZ Top's albums from 1970 to 1981, with the exception of Diguello. The album ZZ Top's first album, Rio Grande Mud, Trace Hombres, Fandango, and TJs were remixed to have a more contemporary sound. Recycler, released in 1990, was ZZ Top's last studio album under contract with Warner Records. Recycler was also the last of a distinct sonic trilogy in the ZZ Top catalog, marking a return towards a simpler guitar-driven blues sound with less synthesizer and pop bounce than the previous two albums. This move did not entirely suit the fan base that Eliminator and Afterburner had built up, and while Recycler did achieve platinum status, it never matched the sales of those albums. However, the single, My Heads in Mississippi, did reach no. 1 on the Billboard album Rock Tracks chart that year. Return to guitar-driven sound 1992-2003, edit. In 1992, Warner released ZZ Top's greatest hits, along with a new Rolling Stones-style cut Gun Love and an Elvis-inflected video, Viva Las Vegas. In 1993, ZZ Top inducted a major influence, Cream, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In 1994, the band signed a $35 million deal with RCA Records, releasing the million-selling antenna. Subsequent RCA albums, Breath Mean, 1996 and 1999's XXX, the second album to feature live tracks, sold well, but did not reach the levels enjoyed previously. In 2003, CZ Top released a final RCA album, Mescalero, an album thick with harsh Gibbons guitar and featuring a hidden track, a cover version of As Time Goes By. RCA impresario Clive Davis wanted to do a collaboration record in the mode of Carlos Santana's successful Supernatural for this album. In an interview in Goldmine magazine, Davis stated that artists Pink, Dave Matthews, and Wilco were among the artists slated for the project. ZZ Top performed Tush and Legs as part of the Super Bowl 31 halftime show in 1997. A comprehensive 4-CD collection of recordings from the London and Warner Brothers years, Chrome, Smoke and Barbecue, was released in 2003. It featured the band's first single, A and B-Side, and several rare B-Side tracks, as well as a radio promotion from 1979, a live track, and several extended dance mix versions of their biggest MTV hits. Three tracks from Billy Gibbon's pre-ZZ band, The Moving Sidewalks, were also included. Critical acclaim in retrospective releases 2004-2011, edit. ZZ Top at the Crossroads Guitar Festival on June 26, 2010. In 2004, ZZ Top was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones gave the induction speech. ZZ Top gave a brief performance playing LaGrange and Tush. Expanded and remastered versions of the original studio albums from the 1970s and 1980s are currently in production.
Marketed as remastered and expanded, these releases include additional live tracks which were not present on the original recordings. Three such CDs have been released to date Trace Ombres, Fandango, and Eliminator. The first two were released in 2006 and used the original mixes free from echo and drum machines while Eliminator was released in 2008. The Eliminator re-release also features a collector's edition version containing a DVD featuring several videos and additional live tracks. The Eliminator Collector's Edition CD, DVD, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the band's iconic RIA A Diamond Certified Album, was released September 10, 2008. The release includes seven bonus tracks and a bonus DVD, including four television performances from the tube in November 1983. The band performed at the 2009 Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo on the final night on March 22, 2009. In July, the band appeared on VH1 Storytellers in celebration of their four decades as recording artists. La Futura and Subsequent Events 2012 to 2018 Edit Billy Gibbons stated in an interview in August 2011 that a new album had been recorded with initial recording taking place in Malibu, California, before moving to Houston, but was still unnamed and had yet to be mixed and mastered. Gibbon said that the expected release date was sometime in March or April 2012 but later, a late summer or early fall release date was announced. The album was subsequently released on September 11, 2012. Entitled La Futura, the album was produced by Rick Rubin. The first single from the album, I Gots to Get Paid, debuted in an advertising campaign for Jeremiah Weed Whiskey and appears on the soundtrack of the film Battleship. The song itself is an interpretation of 25 Lighters by Texan hip-hop DJ DMD and rappers Lil Kiki and Fat Pat. The first four songs from La Futura debuted on June 5, 2012, on an EP called Texicali. DJ Screw was a major influence on the album as well, particularly because Gibbons and Screw both worked with engineer GL Moon during the late 1990s. The band kicked off a North American tour with a concert in Red Bank, New Jersey, at the Count Basie Theater on March 3, 2015. After rescheduled dates and additions, the tour wrapped up with a concert in Highland Park, Illinois, at the Ravinia Pavilion on August 27, with opening act Blackberry Smoke. Jeff Beck joined ZZ Top for seven concerts on the tour. On September 9, 2016, ZZ Top released a new live album entitled Tonight at Midnight Live Greatest Hits from Around the World. In 2017, CZ Top announced their 2017 Tonnage Tour, which was to last from February 19 to March 14. However, they were forced to cancel last few dates of their tour due to the ailment of bassist Dusty Hill. In 2018, the band announced their six-day Las Vegas run of shows to be held at the Venetian, starting from April 20, 2019. Upcoming 16th studio album and Death of Dusty Hill 2019 present edit. In a September 2019 interview with Ultimate Classic Rock, Hill stated that there's a good chance CZ Top will release a follow-up to La Futura, we've got a lot in the can. It depends on how we would want to put it together or redo it or whatever. Because it's years of stuff. We just record everything and then we go, well, no, this didn't quite feel right right now. Gibbons told Las Vegas Review Journal in April 2020 that he, Hill and Beard have been cooking up another round of wicked sounds for the next ZZ record. On June 21, 2020, Gibbons stated interest in having guitarist Jeff Beck make a guest appearance on the album. In November 2020, it was announced that the documentary That Little Old Band from Texas was nominated for the Grammy Award for Best Music Film with the award ceremony scheduled for March 2021. In July 2021, Hill was forced to leave a tour after a hip injury. ZZ Top performed without him at the Village Commons in New Lenox, Illinois, with Hill's guitar tech Elwood Francis on bass. Five days later, on July 28, ZZ Top announced that Hill had died at his home in Houston at the age of 72. Gibbons confirmed that the band would continue with Francis per Hill's wishes. According to Gibbons, Dusty emphatically grabbed my arm and said, Give Elwood the bottom end and take it to the top. He meant it, amigo. He really did. Other appearances, edit. ZZ Top played Super Bowl 31 in 1997, along with the Blues Brothers and James Brown. ZZ Top also performed at the 2008 Orange Bowl game in Miami, as well as the Auto Club 500 NASCAR event at the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California.
On June 23, 2008, ZZ Top celebrated the release of their first live concert DVD titled Live from Texas with the world premiere, a special appearance, and charity auction at the Hard Rock Cafe in Houston. The DVD was officially released on June 24, 2008. The featured performance was culled from a concert filmed at the Nokia Theater in Grand Prairie, Texas, on November 1, 2007. On January 22, 2010, Billy Gibbons accompanied Will Ferrell and others playing Leonard Skinner's Freebird on Conan O'Brien's Last Tonight Show appearance. O'Brien joined in on guitar. In June 2011, various media sources reported that the new song, Flyin' High, would debut in space. Astronaut and friend of ZZ Top Michael Fossum was given the released single to listen to on his trip to the International Space Station. On June 4, 2014, ZZ Top opened the CMT Awards ceremony, performing LaGrange with Luke Bryan and Florida Georgia Line. Style Edit This section needs expansion. You can help by adding it. July 2021 the Guardian describes ZZ Top as part traditional, part contrary, and part of the deep seam of Texas weirdness that stretched from the 13th floor elevators through to the butthole surfers. Hill and Gibbons worked as a kind of double act, looking similar and employing simple stage choreography that Hill described as low energy, high impact. Band members edit. Current members. Billy Gibbons guitar, lead and backing vocals, 1969 present. Frank Beard, drums, percussion, backing vocals, 1969 present. Elwood Francis, bass, 2021 present. Former members: Dusty Hill, bass, backing and lead vocals, keyboards, 1970 to 2021, died 2021. Lanier Greg, bass, Hammond organ, 1969, died 2013. Dan Mitchell, drums, 1969. Billy Etheridge, bass, 1969. Session guests. Pete Tickle, acoustic guitar on, Mushmouth Shoutin', from Rio Grande Mud, 1971. Terry Manning, synthesizer, drum machine on Eliminator, 1982. James Harmon, harmonica on, What's Up With That, from Rhythmine, 1996, Mescalero, 2002, La Futura, 2012, died 2021. Marimbas de Chiapas, Marimba on, Mescalero, 2002. Dan Dugmore, pedal steel guitar on, Mescalero, 2002. Joe Hardy, Piano, Hammond B3 Organ on La Futura 2012. Dave Sardi, Piano, Hammond B3 Organ on La Futura 2012. Touring Guests. Jeff Beck, Guitar on Hey Mr. Millionaire from XXX 1999. John Douglas, Drums Percussion 2002. Discography, Edit. Main Article, CZ Top Discography. Studio Albums. ZZ Top's First Album, 1971. Rio Grande Mud, 1972. Trace Ombres, 1973. Fandango, 1975. Tejas, 1976. Diguello, 1979. El Loco, 1981. Eliminator, 1983. Afterburner, 1985. Recycler, 1990. Antenna, 1994. Rhythmine, 1996. XXX 1999. Mescalero 2003. La Futura 2012. Filmography Edit. In addition to recording and performing concerts, ZZ Top has also been involved with films and television. In 1990, the group appeared as the band at the party in the film Back to the Future Part 3 and played the three men in a tub in the movie Mother Goose Rock and Rhyme. ZZ Top made further appearances, including the Gumby with a Pokey episode of Two and a Half Men in 2010 and the Hank Gets Dusted episode of King of the Hill in 2007. The band also guest hosted an episode of WWE Raw. Billy Gibbons also had a recurring role as the father of Angela Montenegro in the television show Bones. Though the character is never named, it is strongly implied that Gibbons is playing himself. Their song, Sharp Dressed Man, was one of the theme songs used for the television show Duck Dynasty, and on the series finale of the show they appeared with C. Robertson as a vocalist to perform the song on stage during Robertson's retirement party. Black Dahlia Films, led by Jamie Burton Chamberlain, of Seattle and Los Angeles, has contributed documentaries and backline screen work the footage on back screens during live shows and has become an integral part of the band's filmmaking.
ZZ Top made a guest appearance in the episode Sweet Dreams, Season 3, Episode 8 of the television show Saint Elsewhere on November 14, 1984. While the band appears in Luther's dream, once Luther wakes he finds the Z keychain in the lock of the door to the room he was sleeping in. In 2019, Netflix released a documentary, CZ Top That Little Old Band from Texas. Awards and Achievements Edit ZZ Top's music videos won multiple VMA awards during the 1980s, topping the categories of Best Group Video, Best Direction, and Best Art Direction for Legs, Sharp Dressed Man, and Rough Boy, respectively. Among high honors for ZZ Top have been induction into Hollywood's Rock Walk in 1994, the Texas House of Representatives naming them official heroes for the state of Texas. A declaration of ZZ Top Day in Texas by then-Governor Ann Richards on May 4, 1991, and induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2004. They were also given commemorative rings by actor Billy Bob Thornton from the VH1 Rock Honors in 2007. ZZ Top has also achieved several chart and album sales feats, including six number one singles on the mainstream rock chart. From the RIA, ZZ Top has earned four gold, three platinum and two multiple platinum album certifications and one diamond album. See also, edit. ZZ Top the equipment. List of artists who reached number one on the U.S. mainstream rock chart. American Blues. Like, share, comment, subscribe.